It's Melbourne Cup Day for Team Lindsay Park, the second day of the Melbourne Cup Carnival. Nigel Carmody alongside David Hayes. And David, we'll get to the Cup shortly. We kick things off in the two-year-old, the Emirates, 100th A380 stakes, and Crafila backs up for Kira McAvoy. Barry 11, 56 kilos. The Group 3 for the two-year-old fillies, superb on Guinea's Day in the debutante stakes. She really was, and um, she's trialled well down the straight, and we think she'll be really hard to beat. We then head to race two, three runners in the tab at .com.au trophy, the 700 metre race for the men's Hell of high water for Dean Yendel, 61 kilos, barrier 10, comes off an eighth in the ladies' day vase. Yendel back on, four rides for three wins. Yeah, Yendel has the keys to it. Um, she might have got a speeding ticket last start. Um, big weight, but a really healthy mare, should run well. Rocket Commander comes off its fourth in the Tessio and Cox Plate Day. Kieran McAvoy drawn, drawn one with 57 kilos. Yeah, look, um, if it rains, and she's better if there's a bit of cut in the ground. If we don't get the rain, I'd probably lean to hell high water. And last of the runners is Miles of Christian for Michael D. Barry three, down on 54 kilos. Third up after 12 and 1400 metre runs. It was third to Emily Starr, third up last time in a Group 2 in Adelaide. Yeah, it's good form. Uh, last run was full of merit, and... Flemington 17 should be ideal and well weighted, so I think she'll run well. So good hand in that race. We then head to race for the 2800 metre race, the Ronald McDonald House Charities Plate. Benchmark 96, Fanatic for Michael Walker. Walker's drawn barrier 17, 55 kilos. She's a New Zealand Oaks winner, drops in class here from four lengths back in the Geelong Cup. Yeah, she ran the Geelong Cup, was in season, and we've sorted that out. So, uh, And I think the distance will be ideal, terrible barrier. Need a real M Walker special ride from that gate, I think. Seen to win for Kieran McAvoy's drawn 13, 54 kilos, consecutive wins at 2,000, then 2,400 metres in the place, get his all 10 starts. Yeah, look, we're hoping we're going to have him here on the big stage next year. So we're practising uh, um, this weekend and we hope he can win and it might be a nice stepping stone for the Melbourne Cup next year. Race five is the Schweppes Flemington Fling, 1,000 metres for the three year olds. Wait for no one for Corey Parrish. We'll be back up from Friday night, Mooney Valley. Make a decision in the morning. Uh, probably will, but it's a horse that needs gelding. Medina D for Mark Zara, Barry 11, 57 kilos, was fourth at uh, Mooney Valley on Manicato night. I was really disappointed with the run, uh, but her record up the straight is pretty good. Uh, she's a winner and three seconds. So um, she'll run pretty well, I think. Three runners in the Lexus hybrid plate, 1,400 metres for the three-year-olds, a listed race. River Jewel for Damien Lane draws four, 55 kilos. Fourth at Caulfield drops two kilos. Third up last time, won the Elstrom Classic up at Swan Hill. Look, um, very fit, good gait, good jockey, good chance. One to Diva, Craig Williams buried two, also with the 55. First got 1,400, was eighth in the thoroughbred club stakes. Yeah, uh, not a lot went right for her, but for the first time to a good gait, and I think she's looking for 14 or a mile, so if she could run well here, we'll run her in the Sandown Guineas uh, next week, so um, we're pretty hopeful. And Luqua for Blake Shin draws nine, drew the outside gate win six in the same race at Thoroughbred Club. Yeah, look, even run, um, bit of a throw at the stumps, probably needs to improve on recent form. Righto, that gets the previews out of the way. To the big one, the Emirates Melbourne Cup. We've got a, a Jeune remnant here, let's hope so. Venture Storm, Glenn Boss, Barry Six, 54 kilos. Bruce Hill, six lengths back in the Caulfield Cup, but third in the Turnbull Prize, splitting Winks and Humidor. How's its condition? Look, he, he um, pulled up um, with a bit of a foot after the Caulfield Cup. Um, we took a view to keep him fresh and probably backfired when the pace was so strong in the Caulfield Cup and he ran out of condition, pulled up with a foot. Poured the work into him, responded well, and we're really hopeful for a better run because he is um, he was bought for this race 12 months ago. Um, if he hadn't run in the Caulfield Cup, I'd be really confident that he'd run well uh, the way he's trained. Where do you want him from six? Uh, I've just had lunch with uh, G Boss, and I reckon he'll be in the first eight cruising. Boom time tries to become the 12th horse to do the Caulfield Cup Melbourne Cup double. Up a kilo, Corey Parrish, barrier nine with 53. Two wins at Flemington, including one over 2,500 metres that you can basically ride off its only 3,200 metre run, which was the heavy track, the Sydney Cup, earlier in the year. Yes, yeah, so don't count that. Uh, look, he's done, he's improved from the Caulfield Cup. The horses that ran behind him are favourite, second favourite. Can't understand the market. Um, 
I think he's a great each way chance, very fit, going well. Again, drawn well, you'd imagine it's going to sit forward as it did in the Caulfield Cup? Probably a length or two further back because I'm predicting really fast pace. Um, there's a Williams army in the race and I'd, I'd imagine a couple of them will be rolling along. So boom time and Ventura Storm for Team Lindsay Park in the Emirates Melbourne Cup. To the James Bogue Stakes, he or she for Dwayne Dunn over 1800 metres has drawn the outside gate with 58 kilos, beaten five lengths in the Turak. Yeah, really was getting going late. Um, I would say that gate won't matter because we'll be uh, sitting back and charging home. He's been out of form all year, but probably run a better race. Also got Tashby for Blake Shin, drawn five with 55 kilos, beaten three lengths in the Moonga Stakes and was fourth in this race last year with 56 kilos. Look, he'll get a good run. He's very fit and his best form is, you know, in this class. So um, probably stable elect in this race. Down the straight, the MSS Security Sprint 1200 metres listed race. Darren Blake Shin, barrier 20 with a 58, was scratched from the Group 2 on Saturday. Class drop from its recent runs. It is. Um, keep an eye on the track. If the track comes up a good, we'll probably wait for another day. Darren Rain Dance continues. <laughs> He's just not getting it. Fartana for Hugh Bowman draws 12, has 57 kilos, was second in this race last year, off a of Caulfield sprint placing, we have the first leg of that double here again. Yeah, really keen on him, um, I'm backing Bowman to break the duck, he's been uh, riding for the stable now for his 40th ride without a win, too good a jockey not to win, lift Huey. <laughs> it's time. Last of the day is the HKJC sprint over 1400 metres, a group three for the Mayors, Furyk was superb in the Alinghi on Caulfield Cup day, steps to 1400 metres for the first time, Craig Williams barrier 459 kgs. Yeah, in form, going very well. Track work's been brilliant. Um, slight query at the distance, but I'm sure she'll be okay. Speaking of in form, Miss Gunpowder for Dwayne Dunn, 55 kilos from Barry Six, fourth in the Northwood Plume, then beaten a pimple third at Mooney Valley, thousand guineas prelude winner over 1400 metres in 2015. Yeah, um, really happy with her run, lucky run the other day. Um, hard to beat, I think. It should run well. If you ask me which one, haven't got a clue. I'd back one and save on the other. Got a great hand in the card, midpoint of the Melbourne Cup Carnival Week. Your best on a big day? The two year old base one. Get the money early with Kafila. We'll be back to preview Oaks Day on Lindsay Park's online and social channels.